Hey friends, it's Brian and it's time to work on my F-350 project. Um, so my last project was rebuilding the engine harness. Today, I'm gonna put in the turn switch that goes around the steering wheel. Mm, this should be fun. Now, for whatever reason, this switch has a wiring harness that does not fit through this hole. No matter what, I don't think this can be made to fit through here. So, and I don't think, let me see how the hell this is held on. There's one there. Yeah, so I don't see how that's held on. Not 100% sure what the switch is for that goes in there. So, anyway, there's two ways to deal with this. You can either unpin all these and hope you remember which direction they go in, or you can cut all these wires, and that's what we're going to do. I'm going to cut them all and install bullet connectors and be done with this because that is a stupid ass design. I mean, why in the world would you build something you can't get the connector through? I mean, really? What the hell? I mean, it, it, it just isn't mechanically possible to get this connector through here. Maybe down there. Yeah, that doesn't fit. So anyway, let's let's go hack this up. All right. So, um, you know, I don't know that there's a right or wrong way to do this. So we're just gonna cut them all. There you go. Now it'll fit. All right, so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna strip these off. I'm gonna install bullet connectors based on the size. All right, so a lot of these are gonna get red, a lot of them are gonna get blue. I don't think it's anything bigger than 14 to 16. Um, and then I'm gonna heat shrink it all, and then I'm gonna go put it in. So I'm gonna switch the video over to time-lapse because I don't think I mean, you know, I, I just don't think the detail is super important. And, um, yeah. I'll put links to in the video description to this, these, this, uh, and, and this. All right, so at this point, I've got everything put together. Um, it's kind of irritating. I had to buy like all those <laughs> connectors in order to get these, but this WireFi brand has been extremely reliable. I have a lot of their connectors and I bought their crimpers. It has interchangeable draws that are specific to each style of crimper. I mostly use the heat shrink um, connectors. And what I like is that they consistently crimp they're just good quality connectors. The dies are sized exactly right, and I don't have very many failures with these. So I still need to heat shrink these. That's my next project. Um, as you can see by me doing this, my hands are hurting. I, I had carpal tunnel when I used to be in the computer industry, and I, this hand's been fixed. 
this hand hasn't. Um, I still have problems with both hands, um, so yeah, I don't. I don't want to tell you other than some of us just aren't that lucky. Um, but anyway, so you'll see me kind of noodle through these and um, as my hands hurt. But I'll put links to this in the description, and um, you know I have a whole bunch of extra connectors. Um, it just works out that it's just cheaper to buy their, their kits, which is annoying. I really wish they'd sell like a bag of 20. I'd, I'd pay more per connector that way, but whatever. So next, let's do this and then we'll put it in. Okay, so you saw that I, uh, how I use the heat shrink gun. Um, that's a real time saver, and you're never going to burn any of your wires or connectors. Um, so it's really worth the minimal $10, $12 investment. Um, anyway, let's go put this in. All right. And what do you know? How it fits. this actually goes. Okay, so we know that it goes in like this.
So this has none of the same bits on the bottom. So the issue appears to be these. Mm, where's the clip them all? Let me go find my clip. Alright, well, the reality is we can't return this anyway because we've already cut the harness. So let's just modify it and see if we can make it fit. right length. That works. Doesn't line up real well, but it works. So I think
Might have to go look and see where that actually goes. Well, it looks like I have the wrong turn signal switch. So, this will not fit in here when it's clocked properly. Um, so, by clocked, it, this hazard switch has to go there. So, and, and um, there's stuff there that's hitting. So, yeah, this is just not right. And on the other hand, this one pops right in there. So we have the wrong uh, turn signal switch, which is really, really frustrating. So let's go figure out what I did wrong and order the right one. And maybe by the weekend, it'll come in and we can start over. Uh, that's going to be it for today because we're not going to get any further than this. And uh, oops, that sucks. And, uh, yeah, so it just isn't going to fit. That's the wrong switch. And I wish I found that out before I cut this because, you know, that's 35 bucks out the window. Thanks for watching. Um, oops. Yeah. All right. So the reason that um, I didn't, I, I ordered the wrong part. So this is a tilt steering. Here's one piece of it that popped out. Uh, I'll need to take this apart and fucking fix it. Um, but that's the piece that twists forward to unlock the steering wheel. And I had no idea because I'm used to looking for something down here. And this is a jackass design. Um, so yeah, I got to order the tilt steering switch which is what this is and that has the swivel that moves forward whereas the other one doesn't fun 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 Hopefully you break the keys off yeah whatever anyway so yeah i got the wrong part um and that explains why that looks an awful lot like some kind of a release so there's probably a u-joint in here and some kind of swivel how can you make it complicated, but easy for monkeys to assemble? Yeah, there you go. That's probably what the Ford engineers were thinking. So I'll try to figure out how to get this back together. Um, here are the little retaining clips that go with it. Uh, there's probably a little rod. That's probably what dropped out of here earlier. Yeah, I don't know. So anyway, more fun for later. All right, so um, in case you pop this out, it goes down in here. And then I suspect that's the spring that pushes back on it. Boy, it sure doesn't seem like a whole lot of spring. Well, I guess it's enough. see how these go in. Let me go look this up. All right, so these little clips, this is called a tilt steering wire bail. Little clips look identical, but they install backwards from one another. I had to go watch a bunch of videos to figure this part out. And I'm still not 100% sure that this is right. I 
right, so uh, there's another little piece. Is that? No. Before we go any further, there's supposed to be a cap on this. Let me see if I can find it. I'm not going to make you guys wait while I look. Alright, I think this is it. Alright, so this goes down in here, and then this drops in there, and then these two. see how these clip in place. I don't know why they couldn't do this with a fucking screw. Should be getting somewhere here. I gotta go look at the picture again. I'll be back. All right, so oh, I see what we're doing. So there's one. And there's two. just broke. How lovely. How thoroughly lovely. I'm 
Well, I guess that's gonna get deleted. Let me go see if I can even get these parts. So what do you know? It does have tilt steering. Um, Unfortunately, this went. Um, the retaining clips at the top broke. I see what this does. What a stupid fucking mechanism. I'm just really really fucking stupid. Alright, so there's not a whole lot here. Um, it really cries out to have a fucking ball put on the bottom of it. I mean, really. Um, so these stupid little clips are like $60 a piece and there's only a couple of pirates online selling them because Ford quit making them so that when you break one, you are fucked. And this, I mean, it could have just been something that you push up on that unlocks this. So let me see what would happen. I don't anticipate adjusting this a whole lot, so it's just gonna get a hole drilled in the bottom of it and we're gonna move on with life. Oh, hey, wait a second. It looks like somebody else has already thought about this. Let me right back. You know what? I'm gonna do a whole separate video on this. So, because I, I don't think I'm the only one with this problem. This this appears to affect every fucking piece of shit Ford vehicle that was made uh, in this time frame. So I'm gonna do a video that'll help a lot of people out instead. Um, anyway, let's let's wrap up this one. Thanks for watching. I, I'll, I've already ordered the new part. It'll come in sometime later this week. Uh, hope you found this educational and uh, amusing.